Canary is the advanced network for research in Canada. Okay. And what we're doing, we are linking all of the research center university in Canada, but also internationally in order to support and to carry all of the data that is required to do research and to make discovery in Canada. Well, today you saw an example of a collaborative learning session that used the Health Services Virtual Organization tools. It used the camera array, which is mounted in the Surgical Simulation Lab at McGill University. And that tool is a two ring, concentric rings of cameras uh, pointing at the place where the surgeon is demonstrating what the students are working on and it allows each student to pick whichever camera view they want so that uh, instead of having a single camera and everybody seeing that same view each student can customize their view to what is they're most interested in or most curious about at that moment. So well the first step is that we move the Canary network from being a network that support 10 gig and demonstrated that with the Sienna's equipment we could make it a 100 gig network today. In parallel, without changing much to our network, we can take the new technology and put it in and introduce it. So at this point we were streaming uh, 6 megabits of, of video. So if we had a group of 20 users, then we'd be up to 120 times 6, or 20 times 6, 120 megabits, um, which is still um, in the range of uh, modest in the canary world. If we up to the resolution to um, high definition resolution uncompressed, for example, then each stream would be 880 megabits. And so if you had uh, 20 of them, then you'd be filling about 20 gigabits, um, which is getting to be a significant part of, say, the 100 gigabit pipe, which was demonstrated here today. So 100 gig will allow our researchers to access models internationally, also nationally, and collaborate on specific projects. And that's very important for research because research today requires high amount of bandwidth. They are utilizing huge, big models, computer models to do research. Um, bandwidth is about people. And I, I know that we think of it as a mechanical thing for connecting computers and exchange data and so on. But when that data is um, video, audio, uh, be it high resolution, three dimensional, um, um, focused on some procedure, some, something that people are doing, then it's about knowledge, it's about connecting brains to brains, it's about connecting people together. And I, um, I think that's why bandwidth is so important. In uh, ordinary social media today, it's a text channel with uh, very limited uh, capabilities of expressing yourself, very little possibility for expressing emotion. Um, and, you know, not just the, oh, my boyfriend left me kind of emotion, but, you know, emotion, I'm excited about learning this, I want you to tell me more about it, oh, I have something to say. You know, you, you, those kinds of things aren't there, but in, the, in a situation where you have the, the normal social cues because you have a, a good, high-quality visual link, um, then those kinds of things can happen and people can begin to be more effective together.